Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here. Welcome to my Overwatch how-to series where I take you through a character, what they're good at, how to play them, and what to use with or against them. In this video, we are taking a look at one of the more useful support characters to have on your team in my opinion, who is Mercy. Mercy has a couple of movement-related abilities as well as her staff that has two modes, a blaster pistol, and the ultimate to resurrect fallen teammates. She also has four legendary skins, which are Sigrun, Valkyrie, Devil, and Imp. Getting into a few more details, let's start with her passive ability, which is called Angelic Descent. This allows you to hold a button while falling and fall at a lower speed. This is not to protect you from fall damage, it's actually to allow you to move around the map more freely and make jumps that many characters wouldn't be able to make. Although this isn't an ability you'll be using for the entire game, this is definitely something you should keep in mind when rounding around corners and trying to get from one part of the map to the other with no teammates around. Next up, we have her primary quote-unquote weapon, which is her staff. Her staff doesn't deal any damage, however, it does allow you to connect your beam to a teammate and do one of two things. The primary mode of the staff allows you to heal any of your teammates at 50 health per second. This mode is shown by a yellow beam that arcs from your staff to a teammate. The secondary mode of the staff is the damage mode, which is signified through a blue beam that arcs from the staff to a teammate. The damage mode of the staff allows you to increase the teammate's damage by 30%. This obviously scales for every hero, meaning that if you're giving extra damage to a tracer, it might not do as much as giving extra damage to a bastion turret. If you find yourself in a situation where you don't think the staff is going to be the most useful, you do have her blaster, which is a sidearm similar to a pistol and best reserved for emergency use only. It does have 20 damage and fires around 5 rounds per second at 20 damage around, meaning that theoretically you can actually do 100 damage per second with Mercy, which isn't actually that bad. The reload's also only one second, which is a decently fast reload. However, the bullets do travel quite slowly, meaning you'll have to lead your shots by quite a bit in order to land them. This is why the best use of the blaster is for an emergency purpose where you're the only enemy that's being shot at in a one-on-one -on -one scenario and you're moving backwards, getting the enemy that is attacking you in a perfectly straight line. Because of the slow bullet speed, you'll have a lot of trouble hitting any enemy that actually has any movement to their character. We also have the Guardian Angel ability, which allows you to fly towards any targeted ally, allowing you to reach them very quickly and provide assistance whenever they need it. This is a simple ability with next to no cooldown and will allow you to get out of your spawn more quickly, as well as reach ledges that you normally wouldn't be able to reach. It allows you to reach your teammates incredibly quickly when they do need it, so that's probably when you're going to want to use it. Lastly, we have her ultimate, which is Resurrect, one of the most useful but risky ultimates in the game. As the name states, all this does is allow you to resurrect fallen enemies, bringing them back to life with full health. You'll see an indicator on your screen letting you know how many fallen enemies are within your range, and you will need to be in their general area with no large obstacles in the way. Fallen teammate will appear as yellow orbs on the battlefield with a skull nearby. The skull will have a ring timer showing how long that teammate has to respawn. Keep in mind that when this wheel does expire, the ally will spawn, therefore not being able to be revived. So let's talk a little bit about when we should be using Mercy and how we should be playing. And Mercy is one of the few characters who is good in every scenario and every game type in my opinion. She's going to help out your team dynamic no matter what you guys are doing. As for your playstyle, you should always be sitting back as Mercy is an easy target to be picked off and not someone you want to be using in order to head into a battle. Instead, you should be sticking behind your teammates and providing them support by healing them whenever they need it and giving them damage boost when everyone has full health. You should actively be looking to cycle from ally to ally as often as possible to make sure that everyone gets an equal chance and a good amount of health providing you with the best team dynamic. Make sure you're using your Garden Angel ability to effectively move around the map and avoid enemy damage. It'll also obviously help you reach allies that need your assistance. 
If I had to give one most important tip on how to play Tracer, it is that you should stay alive. No matter what you do as Mercy, you will always be more effective if you're alive than if you're trying to participate actively in a battle and then die and have to respawn. When looking at Mercy's strengths, you have to realize that her biggest strength is that she can heal anyone. Literally anyone. She's also incredibly easy to use and fits into almost every possible team dynamic. Her weaknesses are that she generates low damage and her pistol is wildly inaccurate and tough to use. All of her heals are active, meaning they have to be triggered by you, and you can only heal one teammate at a time. And she can be quite risky if you want to be completely effective with her, maximizing the amount of resurrects you get per ultimate. There's a fine line between a Mercy who stays alive just long enough to resurrect all five of her teammates, and a Mercy who dies while in the middle of a firefight. You want to carefully walk that line and make sure you get good at recognizing what scenarios you're necessary in and when you should be backing out. Because of that, it's always, always recommended that you stay near the back, heal up, watch for enemy flanks and damage boost when possible. It's also essential that you time your resurrection, which is your ultimate ability. The resurrect is the easiest way to completely swing the battle in your team's favor right after an enemy uses one of their ultimates. Nothing will catch an enemy team off guard like a five-man rush that they actually defend against only to have all of them resurrected. Essentially that turns your five-man rush into a ten-man rush and you'll often win the game because of it. Overall, Mercy is an easy character to use and quite simple, but there's one important tip that I highly recommend that you think about while using her, and that is time your resurrections. Keep in mind that when an ally dies, they have about a 6 to 8 second window in which they need to watch the kill cam and wait for a respawn. Don't waste your resurrection on an ally right after they die if they're the first person down. You'll want to make sure that you stay safe and see if any of your other teammates die before you resurrect the first person that's fallen. Keeping this in mind will always maximize the amount of players you can resurrect at any given time and allow you to use the most of your ultimate. This is something that is easily overlooked, but easily one of the most essential parts to playing Mercy properly. Now comes the point where I usually talk about what an enemy is good against and bad against, but in Mercy's case, she's not really good against any particular enemy because you're not gonna be battling. Instead, you should use her as a complementary character, meaning use her with any of the following heroes. She's gonna be very good with anyone who's a non-healer, fast mover, and a high damager. This means that teammates like Reinhardt are always going to be extremely useful with a mercy behind them. Allies like Junkrat that can't heal themselves will also greatly appreciate having a mercy on their team. Quick allies like Genji's and Pharah's allow Mercy to quickly travel around the map, so they're going to be pretty complimentary characters as well. Bastion does do a hell of a lot of damage with her 30% damage boost, allowing him to do up to 700 damage per second. Mercy is also a good character to use with Widowmakers and Hanzos on your team as they deal a high amount of damage with a single shot, allowing the damage boost to be extremely effective. If you are a Mercy though, you want to watch out for a Roadhog who can pull you away from your group and easily, easily kill you. You'll also want to watch out for Mei who can create an ice wall to block you from your team. A quick Genji getting behind your team is also very effective, as well as Widowmaker and Hanzos who are able to kill you from a distance. Stay away from engaging in any one-on-one -on -one battles while you're a Mercy. You're gonna lose about 80-90% to 90 of them if you're not careful, and more often than not, the enemy always has the upper hand. Although Mercy's pistol is not useless, it's not useful in the sense that it's not better or as good as most of the enemy hero's primary weapons. Moving on from there, we have two of her achievement slash trophies, the first one being Group Health Plan for restoring 200 health for 5 players without dying. This one essentially comes down to just playing as Mercy and being decently good at it and making sure you don't die. Make sure that you're using your Guardian Angel to fly around the map and keep yourself protected. Usually this is probably most easily done on defense. What you'll want to do is stay behind your team and heal them whenever they take damage. Eventually you'll restore 200 health for all 5 of your teammates and unlock this achievement. Again, there's not that much to this one, feel free to open up the stats menu to see how much total healing you've done in your life, and try to keep track of all 5 of your teammates to see and know which ones you're missing. The other achievement slash trophy we have is for the ultimate called Huge Res. 
for resurrecting four players at once with Mercy. This one is a little bit risky, but essentially you want to be behind your team during an attack or defense where almost everyone on your team goes down. At that point, you want to fly in and resurrect at least four of them at once. It's also very helpful and often done on neutral objective maps, so you'll want to keep that in mind. This is usually done right after an enemy uses an ultimate and eliminates most of your team, so you want to make sure that you're far enough away that you don't get eliminated with your team, but close enough that you're within range to heal them and resurrect them when ready. You'll want to build up your resurrection by assisting your teammates with heals and extra damage whenever possible, and you should be able to build your resurrect ultimate rapidly. This one just comes down to playing Mercy properly and being aware of your opportunities. You'll want to keep in mind that sometimes when there's three resurrects available, waiting might generate a fourth one or might actually bring your counter down to two or get you killed. Make sure you optimize the amount of enemies you're able to resurrect at once and you should hopefully eventually get this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to share this video with a friend. Drop a like if you enjoy the series. Special shout out to Heron Giggles as well as Doc Cupcake for supporting the show on Patreon. So hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace.